Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another official Motor Mike video on the World Wide Web. And today, we are at the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, guys. Check this out real quick. We have a Porsche and a Matchbox. And apparently, it's only uh, going for $195. I think we should, think we should buy this for the Motor Mike YouTube channel. But as you can see, we are over at the Peterson in LA. There's a bunch of beautiful cars here and some controversial ones too. So we'll definitely check it out. We're just waiting for Gabby to get out the bathroom and we'll start the video off. But this is the actual Tesla Cybertruck. They did all the testing on, I guess some press releases. There's the monocoque shell right there. But check this out, it looks like straight out the future, right Gabby? It looks like it's straight out the future. We got all the dents on the door. And this is the actual model. So tell me what you guys think about the Tesla Cybertruck, with the weird design. Personally, I like it. I thought it was from a movie. She thought she it was from a movie. No, this is a, this is a real car to sell now, believe it or not. I saw like six of these already on the highway, but it's cool to see one finally up close. And here we are at the beginning of the actual museum itself. A lot of beautiful cars around here. Take a look at the little doom buggy here. Myers Minx. Now, oh, these are pretty cool. Pretty much a Volkswagen shell, the Volkswagen body. They put a doom buggy shell on it. Yeah, can you believe to start off as a, as a VW? As a little Volkswagen bug? Kind of looks like, like one a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The whole inside looks straight out of a Volkswagen. That is pretty awesome though. But well, there's a whole lot of cars we gotta get to today. We have some very early machinery right there. With the Mercedes-Benz Motorwagen. Am I saying it right? 1886. 1886? This is based, the first one uh, I don't think it's around anymore, but you know, that's what the first ever car looked like And then as you can see here, we still have some other cars there as well Above there, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see the origins of the automobile The top speed was 10 miles per hour. Top speed 10 miles per hour and it had less than one horsepower. horsepower Now unfortunately, we won't have time to talk about every single car today, but we'll just take a look around the museum And this is only the beginning too only the beginning. Check out this one though, he's pretty cool looking. Kind of the aerodynamic shape. Here's something pretty cool. First ever Corvette model right here. That's what started off all the Corvettes. There's this model right here, Chevy Corvette. So you might recognize a few vehicles over there. We'll get to the Bumblebees in just a second. Check out this little bus right here. That's pretty cool. What do you think, we should get a bus like this? Get a nice VW bus. Very cool. 71, no, 79. 79 bus. And of course, fan favorite, we got the Camaro, the Bumblebee, right? Bumblebee from the Transformer movie there. And the other Bumblebee from the Transformer movie. Both of these cars were featured in the Transformer movie. Did you know that? No. Did you know that they were both in a Transformer movie? Watch Transformers movies. I haven't either, but these I think they turn into robots and they start blasting people. There are small cars that exist, but nothing probably as small as this. This is the Peel P50. As you so famously could tell, you've probably seen this car a lot in video games and Top Gear. World's smallest production car. Can you believe you can drive this on the road legally? I wish we could take it. No, we can, we just gotta put it in our back pocket. <laughs> the 89 Batmobile, isn't that cool? Oh yeah. This is very cool. Original 89 Batmobile. But I'm more interested in this to be honest. Christine, 58 Plymouth Fury. That's a badass car. It's cool to see these cars in the, in the actual, in person, in the flesh. Because seeing them in the screen is one thing, but then seeing them up close as well, they're beautiful machines, absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get another good angle of this car here. Check that out, 58 Plymouth Fury, got the big fins in the back. <laughs> no way. That is crazy. The official Lightning McQueen. And check this out, we have Lightning McQueen himself in the flesh. That is so cool to see. I'm using him as the, uh, the picture for today's video, guys. That is so cool. Got some more cars over here. We'll do a quick walk around. 
beautiful 50s cars all hot routed out. What do you think the story is with this guy? What do you think happened with him? Look at this. It's missing the roof, but it looks good. It's fancy. Fancy smancy. There's a Buick in the back there too, the Wildcat. It's just so interesting to see how, you know, the automotive, how old school it is. Um, ooh, that's very nice. But it's so interesting to see the history of the automobile and design. Because it's not every day you're going to see a car like this. This was a Chevy. Wow. Concept Chevrolet. That is beautiful. I believe there's more forms for us to explore. I think we got to keep going down. Check out this truck too. This truck is pretty. Want to come over here and take a look at that as well? Wow. It looks like the Coca-Cola truck that they use for like advertisements. <laughs> Holy smokes. I don't want to look. I don't want to look yet. Come on, Gabby, quick, quick, quick. Quick, 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 before they drive away. <laughs> before they drive away, quick. Quickly. Uh, let's start off with the right. Oh, a bunch of cool Porsches right there. It's, I'm having a sensory overload right now. Do you know that? Yeah, I can imagine. I'm having sensory overload. There's one car that better be here. And if it's not, I'm gonna cry very hard. Oh, it is here. Oh, it is here. Okay, so check this out. We're gonna go through these cars real quick because we know what they are. 68, 60, sorry, 67 Ford Mustang GT500, Eleanor, very iconic, very infamous car. We have the mystery machine here. Of course, a very iconic car right there. The mystery machine itself. You know who you remind me of? You're like a combination of Velma and the other one, Daphne. Why do you see that? Because you're cute and hot, that's why. <laughs> Come. So check this out too. We have a nice hot rod there. I think that was from an Iron Man movie or something. I don't entirely know. Beautiful car. I see something. I see something so cool. I'm trying to keep my calm right now. We have the Too Fast, Too Furious. Honestly, best car in the movie. Fight me about it. The pink Honda S2000. Next to James Bond's Jaguar. With lasers and guns and stuff. You know, that's my favorite Fast and Furious car. Pink car? Oh yeah, I would rock that. That would be my car. So then we have Knight Rider over here. Oh, look, it's a 1982 car. Yeah, Gabby. We have to do a video on your car. We have to, when we come back from our trip from California, Gabby, you're, it's time. Mm -hmm. It's time to show them. This is basically like almost my car. Yeah, 82 Pontiac Firebird. Very nice there. A little sneak peek of my favorite car in the background there. The Batman bike, pretty cool. We have the Starsky and Hutch car, remember this? That we saw in the in the store, Gabby. Starsky and Hutch. Very cool. Very cool car. Got the siren. Then the DeLorean. Time traveling. Got the flux capacitor back there. Looking all nice. Now, I kind of brushed over all these cars because you kind of know about the history of them. But check this out. This is my favorite one. I'm so weird. You've got Herbie the love bug back here. From the movie. Herbie, look. He's fully race car out. This was in the 2005, the Herbie movie with Lindsay Lohan. And she drove the Herbie car in the race against the NASCAR up there. Check this out with Herbie right now. That is so cool. I am amazed by this. It's Herbie. It's Herbie. Herbie, man. It's Herbie, bro. That is so cool. Check this out, guys. Oh, first of all, that's a beautiful Ford right there. But check this out. Holy smokes. Wow. We are simply surrounded by beauty right now. And there's one car here which is catching my eye a lot. <laughs> Check out this Rolls Royce. It's a big one. Check the size of this thing out from top to bottom. Now this, 
This is a big car, my love. Look at this. This thing is huge. Look at the fin that comes off the back. That is amazing. That is amazing. That thing is like Corolla Deville times a thousand. We're gonna have to ask you a question once we're done touring the room. What would that be? You'll see. But yes, yeah, simply beautiful. Oh, I think part. I know what the plus scene is gonna be. You might know. I think I already know what it is. This is like the room of beauty over here. Jaguars. The chassis came in different lights. This is beautiful. Look at the size of that thing. That's massive. We are now in every old guy's fantasy. A room full of Corvette race cars. Now follow along with me, Gabby, okay? First ever Corvette. First ever Corvette as well with a facelift. First generation Corvette, all race cars. Follow, follow quickly, quickly. We have the second generation Corvette as a race car, okay? The second one ever made as a race car. We have the fourth generation Corvette made as a race car. We have uh, people that made the race car make a Corvette race car. These people build race cars and then we had a Corvette, a race car. We have the fifth Corvette as a race car right there. Still following? It's making, se it's making sense. We start with the first and now with the fifth. The fifth generation. We have the sixth generation Corvette made as, made as a race car. Followed by the seventh. No. That's the sixth. That's the C6 as well. That's the Corvette C7 right there. And then we have the, probably the coolest one, the third generation Corvette race car. Look at that. Just how sharp it is. The aerodynamics in the back. Which one will you take? Which of the court? You're taking this one? You can't take that one because it's that's mine. I called it out first. <sighs> Fine. If I had to pick one myself, that is so cool. Now I have that. You know what I'll probably go for? Probably go for this guy right there. Keep it classic, keep it cool. Or maybe that one. One of these two I would take. The bubbles? They look like bubbles. <laughs> Bubble? <Giant> bubbles. <laughs> the bubble cars. I like I like these a lot. Corvettes are cool, right man? Mm -hmm. Pound it. You like Corvettes. <laughs> whoop, whoop. But look where we are. Dun dun dun. We are surrounded by them. Yeah. That is pretty cool to see all the parts of the Tesla apart. So I'm going around in LA. Most of the Ubers are Teslas. Yeah. We've been getting picked up in Teslas. Yeah, Tesla's the whole way in LA. This is how most of them do end up, you know, because people that buy Teslas usually can't drive. I'm not going to say that too loudly, though. I'm not trying to get beat up here. <laughs> Cybertruck. I believe this is the concept one. Yes. This is the 2019 Cybertruck. You can tell because it has the big wheels and it also says on the plaque over there, 2019. Imagine this getting unveiled to the world. It is pretty cool though. I do like the design of this a lot. I'm not gonna lie. A 2019 Tesla Cybertruck concept car. Oh, who knows? We might need one of these in the future. If there's wars and stuff, like, isn't this thing bulletproof? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. So that would be your um your choice if you got that into would a be my go to um my go to apocalypse yeah. car. <laughs> go to apocalypse car. <laughs> but yeah, we got a bunch of Tesla stuff there. There's a model um that's the first one, the roadster. And we're just gonna put the camera way up high like that. You can see the astronaut dude in there, he's hanging out. So that's pretty cool. Bring you guys back down to earth with me. Can you believe they uh they launched this car into space? Well, maybe not this exact car, but they launched one into space. I swear to you. Oh, they just strapped it to a rocket and sent it on its way. Speaking about roadsters, here's the new one that's supposedly kind of be coming out in 20 um sometime in the future. That's going to be coming out. Apparently, that can hit up to 250 miles per hour, according to the to the Elon Musk dude. Yeah, Teslas and yeah, more, more Teslas, more Teslas. I'm gonna cut this part out. It looks like we're, it looks like we're in a traffic jam here with all these Teslas parked up. It looks like an LA traffic jam. 
so I pretty much forgot to record an outro for this video. Here's the moment I know. But thank you guys so much for watching Motor Mike at the Peterson Automotive Museum. If you guys want to see any more automotive content, I recommend you subscribe down below and stay tuned for future Motor Mike uploads. We are currently over 500 subscribers. We need a few more to start making ad money and revenue, so everything counts. I would appreciate you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for future content. Also, 2024 is the year of the Motor Mike. Let's make it happen and let's actually get some cool content on the channel.